What if Oscar found the Omnitrix? Chapter 4 Parlor Tricks Oscar was now sat in on a red armchair with the four teens standing around him and fawning over him. Oscar was nervously looking back at the members of Team RNJR. Ozpin then introduced his students to him. From left to right they were John Ark, Lyren, Ruby Rose, and Nora Valkyrie. Did he age backwards Nora asked. He's possessed John said. Or reincarnated. Oh. Isn't it weird Ruby said. It is very weird, yes Oscar said. Okay, okay. Let's all just take a second and remember that this is very overwhelming for everyone Crow said, now being sober. Team RNJR all stepped back together and nervously chuckled. Thanks Oscar said. Crow then takes a seat on the sofa next to Oscar. Ruby and Nora had taken a seat on the sofa perpendicular to Crow's, while John and Ren remained standing. Oscar then shared a brief look with Ruby, who giggles, causing Oscar to blush. Ah, sorry. It's just I've never really met huntsmen and huntresses before Oscar said. Well, ah. Uh, we've never met a person with two souls. So, first times all around Ruby said. Oscar smiles and chuckles at Ruby before he hears Crow clear his throat. Not to break up the whole getting to know you game, but we need to have a talk. Mind showing us your little parlor trick, Kid Crow asked. Oscar groaned. Yeah, okay. Just so you know, I'll still be here Oscar said. The members of Team RNJR looked at him confused. Oscar then lowered his head and closed his eyes. He then raised his head quickly before opening his eyes, which are now glowing. It is so very good to see you again, students Ozpin said, now speaking with Oscar's voice but also with his own voice mixing in every now and then. All of Team RNJR shared a brief look of confusion. Wait, what just happened John asked. Professor. Ozpin Ren asked. Correct. And though I may be the one speaking, Oscar is still present mentally. He's merely handed over the control, so to speak Ozpin said. Just don't make us do anything embarrassing Oscar said. I'm afraid this all must be very perplexing Ozpin said. And alarming, and bizarre, and just really kind of hard to believe overall Nora said. Ozpin chuckled. It's good to see you children still have your sense of humor. I know you've all been through tremendous hardship already. I'm sorry Ozpin said. I mean, it's not your fault Ruby said. It's all my fault. I told you once that I made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet, and I wasn't exaggerating. I'm cursed. For thousands of years, I've walked the surface of remnant, living, dying, and reincarnating in the body of a like-minded soul. The Professor Ospin you all met was not my first form, and clearly wasn't my last. It's an extraordinarily strenuous process on everyone involved Ospin said. So who? What? Are you John asked. I am the combination of countless men who've spent their lives trying to protect the people of Remnant. With every rebirth, my soul is eventually merged with another and I am changed, but my memories stay with me. This curse was bestowed upon me by the gods, because I failed to stop Salem in the past. But we must stop her now Ozpin said. And how do we do that Ruby asked. We start by ensuring the safety of the relic of knowledge Ospin said. That's easier said than done Crow said. How bad is it Ospin asked. Very bad Crow. Crow then explained what happened earlier that day when they met up with Leo. How the school is completely empty of teachers and students. The increasing number of grim attacks. And that fact that the council is considering going to war with Atlas to stop the dust embargo. Meanwhile in Leo's office. Leonardo Leonhardt was sitting at his desk with his head in his hands. The door to his office then opens and Arthur Watts entered, with several drones. Are we ready Watts asked. What are those things Leo asked. They are a gift from a new ally. Quite remarkable aren't they Watts said. Yes. 
Hold on. Those drones look similar to the description of a game robot that attacked a village far away from Mr. Olio said. Interesting. I assume you have this robot Watts said. I sadly don't. The Grim have been keeping the Huntsman busy and I can't do anything that would risk me being found out or you would lose your easy in and out Leo said. A shame. It could have been very useful. I do want to build my own. And I do need a test subject Watts said. There. There was a report that some knights came the village's aid and took the robot Leo said. Home tell me more later. We've kept her waiting long enough Watts said. The two then entered a secret hallway adjacent to the office. At the end of the curved hallway was a circular room containing a seer grim. After you Watts said. Watts pushed Leo closer to the seer grim. Your grace, ah. You there Leo asked. A red smoke-like substance contained in the head of the seer grim shifts to form an image of Salem and Cinder fall at their location in the land of darkness. Hello, Leonardo. Do you have something to report Salem asked. Salem and Cinder are also looking through a seer grim to communicate with Leon Hart and Watts. Of course. I would not waste your time, if not Leo said. I'm still just so fascinated by this creature. Cinder dear, are we coming through? Can you see us clearly? Well, as clearly as you can Watts said. Shut. Up Cinder said. Oh goody, you've recovered what sarcastically said. Your report. What is it Salem said? I've. I've found where the spring maiden has vanished too Leo said. Is that so? Well done. Arthur, had I known how useful you'd be in expediting this process, I would have sent you long, long ago Salem said. As much as I'd love to take credit, I can't say that either of us are to thank for this development. I guess you could say, a little birdie told us what's said. Explain Salem. You see, Crowbran when arrived at Haven Academy earlier today. He believes Spring has taken residence with his sister's tribe Leo said. Is. The girl. With him Cinder asked. Yes, Miss Rose was in attendance what's said. And you know of the tribe's location Salem asked. I'm sorry, I do not. But I do know what area they are most likely to be in. But you have to hurry. Crow is already at odds with my Leo said. The Seer Grimm's tentacles shot out and wrap around Leo's throat and chokes him. Leonardo, do you remember the first time we met? I remember. I remember your fear. But, since that day, you've been extraordinarily brave. I won't forget all that you've done for me. Do not forget everything that I can do to you Salem said. The Seer Grim slowly brings the point of another tentacle close to Leo's face before drawing it back. Salem gestures and the tentacle simultaneously releases him from the choke hold. Cinder, you and your team will meet with Dr. Watts, and together, find and convince Raven Branwen that the survival of her people depends on her cooperation. Once you have Spring under control, escort her to the Relic and contact Hazel. The White Fang was promised the destruction of Haven, and they'll have it once we have what we need Salem said. Understood what's said. Not you, Arthur. Tyrion's in need of a new tale Salem said. What happened to his old one what's asked? Guess Cinder said. The silver-eyed girl what's asked. Cinder looks stern and grunts as acknowledgement. It will be done. Perhaps I can add some of Vilgax's tech to it. What fun Watts said. Good Salem said. The image of Salem disappears from the Seer Grim. Seems Crow was right, Leon Hart. The students aren't pushovers Watts said. In the land of darkness, Cinder is unhappy. You're free to speak your mind Salem said. I don't understand. Working with bandits. Keeping Ruby alive. What's the point? We're strong enough to take what we want by force Cinder said. Never underestimate the usefulness of others. Take Leonardo, he was one of Ozpin's most trusted, and yet now. You will have the power I promised you, 
when the time is right. But remember that it comes with a cost. If Ruby Rose has learned to harness her gift, then you must take care to protect yours. There's only so much I can do to aid you Salem said. Cinder bows to Salem and goes to exit the room. And Cinder, before you go, inform Tyrion. That I wish to have a word with him Salem. Cinder smiles, nods in acknowledgement of Salem's order and turns, leaving the room. Back at Ospin's Mistral residence. I see. Things really are bad Ospin said. This is perfect. We were stuck at a dead end, but now, we can just take little cute boy Ospin to Leon Hart and have him set things straight Nora said. Please don't call me that Ospin said. That probably not the best idea now Crow said. Nora pouted and groaned and went back to sitting down. But I thought the headmasters all took their orders from you Ren said. That was the intention. Fall of tenants I can trust, especially during times of reincarnation. But after hearing about your meeting with Leonardo. He isn't just behaving irrationally, he's disobeying specific instructions I had left him. Something's wrong. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I don't want to rule out any possibilities, either. The thing I'm most afraid of is that Leo has been compromised. No one outside of this room knows that I've paired with Oscar, and I think it may be best to keep it that way Ospin said. Play things close to the chest until we get a better hand Crow said. Precisely. Now, we have two steps ahead of us. The first is enlisting the aid of more huntsmen Ospin said. But the Mistral Council Ren said. Doesn't own every huntsman in the kingdom. There are some who never sign up to Mistel's Huntsman program, and I've been here enough times to know where we can find some more Crow said. So long as they are trustworthy Ospin said. You can trust them to put up a good fight. I'll throw together a list tonight Crow. Crow put his foot on the table, but one of the legs to break and spill his cup of tea. Good luck with that Nora said. Crow groans as he cleaned up his mess. After that, we can move on to step two. What's step two? Getting you four into fighting shape Ospin said. Team RNJR exchange looks of confusion. But, ah, uh, we already know how to fight Ruby said. Ospin points his cane at Ruby. You can only fight so long as you have Crescent Rose, but you're still lacking in hand-to-hand -hand combat Ospin said. Well, ah, uh, yeah Ruby said. Ospin then points at Jan. Mr. Ark, I'm glad to hear you've improved, but sorry to say, you've yet to unlock your semblance. All of you still have a ways to go before you're ready to pose any real threat against Salem and her forces. And though Oscar can give me temporary control, he'll need to strengthen his body and his aura Ospin said. Wait, what Oscar questioned? He'll inherit my muscle memory in time but practice will expedite the process Ospin said. But if Crow's out looking for huntsmen, then who's going to teach us Ruby asked. Ospin then propels himself into the air with his cane, spinning counterclockwise into a barrel roll before landing onto the seat of the armchair, twirling his cane. Well, I believe I was the headmaster of Beacon Academy Ospin said. All of Team RNJR have various looks on their faces. I'm afraid we don't have much time. Salem will likely attack before the new school year starts, it would make sense that it would occur prior to students' return. While our time to prepare may be short, but it's better than nothing. Just don't expect me to go easy on you. Now I'll leave you with Oscar to show his second parlor trick Ospin said. Suddenly, he glows green and white again, switching control back to Oscar. He has a hard time keeping his balance on the armchair before falling backwards. You've gotta be kidding me Oscar groaned. Crow and Team RNJ are look on with various expressions again. Kid. What's this other parlor Ospin mentioned Crow asked. Is there another person in your body Ruby asked. Oscar then got up. No, it's not that. It's. It's a lot easier if I just show you. Let's head outside Oscar said. The five look at each other confused again before following Oscar out. 
Is this trick your semblance? Nora asked. It can't be though. He hasn't unlocked his aura, John said. You're right, it isn't my semblance. Though it is that kind of power, it's... It's just out of this world, literally Oscar said. Well then, don't keep us in suspense. Show us Ruby said. All right but keep an open mind and don't freak out Oscar said. Oscar the popped the dial of the Omnitrix up. Is that a watch Ren asked? Kind of. I can only set it to 10 minutes Oscar asked. That doesn't sound like a useful watch Nora said. That's because it's not meant to tell the time. It's transformation time Oscar yelled. Oscar then slammed his hand down on the dial. The others were then blinded by a green light. When the green light dissipated standing where Oscar was a being engulfed in fire. What? The foo the other yelled. Meanwhile, Watts was making his way out of Mistral when his drones picked up a signal. Home, seems like the wielder of the weapon is here. As much as I would like to get my hands on it, now is not the time Watts said. Watts then continued on his way. You're on fire John yelled. Yes Oscar said. And it doesn't hurt Ren asked. Nope Oscar said. Is this all because of the watch crow asked? Yep Oscar said. Where did you get that watch? I want one Ruby said. From space Oscar said. What Nora yelled. I'm telling the truth, it came from Oscar said. You can turn into a bonfire, and you don't tell us to get the marshmallows and popcorn ready. How dare you Nora said. Ha Oscar said. Nora. Please take this seriously Ren said. Fine. It's from space Nora yelled, making the others cover their ears. It's quite a story, but it's quite late so I'll give you a 10 minute version Oscar said. Oscar then began to tell the others on how he found the Omnitrix and what happened before he met up with them. Kid, are you sure this thing came from Space Crow asked. Where else could this watch have come from Oscar said. Fair point. Just don't go around transforming into a fire being Crow said. Duh. I know not to transform into one of the ten transformations Oscar said. Ten transformations Nora asked. Yep Oscar said. What's with the number 10 with this watch John asked. I wish I could tell you Oscar said. Oscar then transformed back to normal. Could you show us the others Ruby asked. In 10 minutes Oscar said. Even 10 minutes to transform again John said. Okay. What do you want to do for 10 minutes Ruby asked. Oscar then yawned. Go to sleep Oscar said. Harubi said. Ruby, it must have been a long day for Oscar, and he must be very tired. We should also head to bed Ren said. Oh. But this is so cool, it's something straight out of my comics. And I can't just go to sleep after this. I want to know more. You can transform into ten different heroes, I want to know what they look like and what they can do Ruby said. Well, I guess I could tell you about them before going to bed. I can become slimy, creepy, fast and strong, I'm every shape and size Oscar said. Ruby's eyes sparkled and Oscar blushed. Thank you. I'll make it up to you Ruby said. You don't need to Oscar said. Oscar's stomach then rumbled. I'll make you some dinner as thanks Ruby said. Thanks Oscar said. Ruby then burst into rose petals and headed to the kitchen. Just don't stay up too late. We have a lot of work tomorrow Ospin said. I won't Oscar said mentally. And don't do anything to Miss Rose Ospin said. Ha Oscar question. Oscar then noticed Crow staring at him. I wouldn't do anything like that Oscar said. I know that. But he doesn't Ospin said. The rest then entered the house and went to bed whilst Oscar joined Ruby in the kitchen. A while later Oscar had eaten the dinner Ruby had cooked for him. Thanks for the meal. It was very nice Oscar said. You're welcome. Now let's talk aliens Ruby said. 
Right. I guess I'll start by describing what they look like and what they can do. And then we can give them a name Oscar said. A name Ruby asked. Yeah. Ozpin suggested I give them our names and draw what they look like, so he knows what I'm talking about Oscar said. But shouldn't Ozpin know what they look like Ruby asked. Apparently when I'm an alien he's not there. He just disappears Oscar said. I see. Must be nice to have your mind back to yourself, if even it's only for 10 minutes Ruby said. Yeah Oscar said sadly. Let's move on. First, we have Oscar said. Ruby and Oscar then went well into the night talking about Oscar's 10 alien transformations, naming and drawing all of them before falling asleep under the Cotest Sioux. End of chapter 4